Hello and welcome to our Builder Nation series. I am Dupadi and I hope you're all having a lovely day. In today's video, we are going to put that nation flag in the game. It was harder than I thought it was going to be, but I managed to do it and this is how. First thing that I'm going to do, as you can see, I have a resource archiver up and I've done this already, by the way, done this already just to test that this is the way to do it because I've never done it. If normally if you want logos or flag packs or things like that, you normally go on FM Scout, right? And download the pack, create a folder, extract it, go into a game, clear cache, reload skin and bang, it's done. We still need to do those last two phases, but I want to show you how you can just change one flag for instance if you're doing what we're doing then this is great to do so what you want to do is extract archive what we will do is just go back a bit just so that you can see where it is so in my d drive we want to go to steam or wherever steam saved in your drive then we want to go to steam apps go to common find football manager 23 go into data and then we want to look for graphics and that's within game and if we keep on going down and there's graphics so what we're going to do is we're going to load that and you select a folder where you want it we created a folder before where we had comp editor files that we were playing around with but i created a new one so if you go back and just select the folder that you want to in your documents i called it fm23 extract click on that and then select and then it's gonna create the graphics folder we've done it already so we don't need to do that and then you go to that folder using windows explorer and if we go to graphics into pictures and you will see flags so that's the one we need today we go into it and it's got large medium small there's no mediums it looks like that they've created within small we go to other and as you can see they kind of got a really small and then a medium and then if we go to large and then there's there they are and obviously this is the one that we need to change but what you will need to do you probably could archive it back into the game but just sort of for sake of easiness and that if we want to change anything else we need to go to documents then sports interactive and go to your football manager documents and what you will need to do is if it's not already created you need to create graphics pictures and then don't create flags because what we're going to do as you can see i've already done it you just want to go back to that extract that you had go back to graphics pictures and then what you want to do is you want to copy that back to your football manager 23 documents into graphics pictures and then paste flags in and then open up and then you will have all of those flags if we go to europe for instance there you go there's all the european flags so what i did is i opened all three of them in photoshop you can probably do this in any photo editing software but good thing about photoshop is that you can do a hell of a lot more so for instance i created a layer that would flex around the image that i already have so here's the image and i put in my flag in here and then i connected it to the lower flag so that it gets me those curves so it's exact same shape as everything else and then i did that on for very small and then for small you can see that it's quite blurred it's because it's very pixelated but if you go into game it will look not too bad to be fair so i saved all of them and what i did is i saved them into where i needed them just saved them over so i extracted them from photoshop and as you can see saved it into that one and then saved them both into here just want to quickly show you there's an extra small there's a small and then obviously where we was for large so if that's not showing anywhere for you what you want to do is you want to go to the menu and go to preferences and then you want to make sure you're on advanced go to interface and what you need to make sure is where it says skin this is unticked use caching to decrease page loading times and tick reload skin when confirming changes in preferences once that's done you can then go down to the bottom and go to reset and clear cache and then you want to reload skin and that is it all right amazing stuff if you've liked this video you know what you need to do hit that like button and if you want to carry on watching this series and anything else to do with football manager then it would be much appreciated if you hit that subscribe button thank you for watching have a great day